Stop! It's hammer time. Let's go in there. Murder a giant bird with a gigantic, super heavy mega anvil. And I am ready to destroy its cranium. Holy crap! That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Maybe I shouldn't be charging at the. Ah! Wow, that's an insane pile of damage. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, reconsider. Reconsider right now. The damage on this thing is too much. What do I even have equipped? I have no protection whatsoever. I don't need the poise. Don't worry about it. Let me grab my flame drake talisman. Let me uh, strategically retreat. Get ourselves some protection from flame. Get ourselves some golden vows. Give me the juice. And I, all right, now I am more better prepared to face this horrible monstrosity. Does that reach me? It does. It, it do be reaching me though. Damn. Okay, uh, definitely should not have charged at the death bird without killing the little birds. But this was a terrible mistake. I regret every choice I've made. Please, I just need you to die, Mr. Bird. It's uh, extremely easy to kill him. It's just a matter. Of, uh, it's just a matter of doing enough damage before they make your ass explode in fire in fiery uh, brimstone. It's just awful, and I hate you. There you go. You're down. Uh, probably the giant death bird is. Oh, my poor, my poor horse got wrecked in the flames of the ghost. Truly a traumatic event. Hey, oh. At least a single attack is enough to kill the other pieces of garbage. Alright, but just smack you real good. I mean, the damage is great on my part. It's just a matter of surviving the horrible giant strikes that this thing can bestow upon my cranium. Here, have my... Oh, Ash of War. Ah, ah, ah. It's pecking my eyeballs out. Well... Time to flee. Flee, butthole, flee! Woo! It's all right. It's all strategic. It's all part of the plan. Probably shouldn't run through places in the arena that create more enemies. That is counter... Counter indicated by my doctor. Oh, this is terrible! I hate everything about this. Ah, I'm in the middle of the ghost flame. Ah, no! <laughs> battle is way more than I bargained for. I hear it was coming here all full of hubris, ready to crush his hollow bones. But damn does this bird pack a punch and also a beak. <laughs> My innards are being sprayed all over the cemetery. I am now just flesh spread all over the ground. Truly traumatic events are happening right now. You just need to do enough damage. Whoop. Do enough damage to kill the death right bird before it kills me. That'll be great. Attack. Oh! <laughs> glass cannon. That's me. The glass cannon with the giant anvil for a weapon that is almost half a million runes. Too bad I don't use them for him anymore. Anything anymore. Ghost flame call. Check it out. It is an Ash of War. It grants affinity and skills to an armament. Indeed it does. Ghost Flame called thrust out armament to summon Ghost Flame. Follow up with a normal attack to set the ground ablaze with Ghost Flame. Or a strong attack to trigger a massive explosion. Swords and spears. Which means that my great swords should be able to use it. Of which I use quite a few. I do enjoy the great sword moveset. Maybe we'll put in the banished sword or something. We'll see. Vanish Knight Sword. Let me just exact retribution from this damn bird. <laughs> not so, not so cocky now that your big brother is away, huh? Let me turn down that volume on my speakers. All right, all right. Well, that was traumatic in the extreme. I need to retire to the Cerulean Coast to take a break from this life of adventuring. It is awful. I cannot survive this trauma. It is destroying 
my psyche. Post traumatic, post traumatic butthole disorder. I mean, this is some kind of path that goes somewhere. Let's just go out to the top of to the end of this path. I wonder what lies at the end of it. I see absolutely nothing except one message. Please, horse. Necessary item ahead. Armament ahead. Sure, we'll go over there. Maybe we'll pick up something amazing. I am hoping for a sight of grace so we can try out that new Ash of War. Spirit Glaive. That sounds very tempting, unfortunately. It's an intelligence weapon. Sharp blade sculpted as a twisted shape of glaive that has seen many years of using the grey side, set to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. Rancor slash. Intelligence! Psh! I scoff at such things. Intelligence is for the eggheads and the nerds that hide behind desks who do not do battle with brawn and might. But despise themselves. Just waving their wands and weaving their spells. Cowards all. Get in the face of the enemy. Obliterate them with sheer strength. That is the butthole way. Maybe now and then throw out a player to the outer gods. Uh, I am running out in circles, aren't I? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this hole, it is just a fall. All right, all right. That's a place that we've actually been. So it's like maybe there may be another mausoleum to fight a spirit over on that side. I already went up there, didn't I, in the previous episode? It's been a little while since I recorded the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We traversed all that area. I remember now. We actually went up that weird bridge first. And we may have even fought this plant. I vaguely remember such events. So you definitely don't want to go out this way or you will perish horrendously. Let me make it to the other side. It'll only take a moment. That's more like it. There's two clear paths. Let's check out the map. Let's see. One goes into this little area and this is probably the, where we're going to end up. Let's go right first. And we'll go up the cliff. Second. I'm gonna be careful with these noodle pools. They are pool noodles. They are hostile in the extreme. I see another one of these. More jar fleshy garbage. Is that exactly what it looks like? There should be a side of grace inside. Yeah, yeah, we know these. We know what they are like. I mean, I'm, I'm always excited to go inside a catacomb. But the jails in the DLC, they've been pretty lackluster. At least the second one, it was such a recycled mess. You know, I did not... Uh, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, eh, more of the same. I did not, I did not appreciate that part of it. Let's see. Hmm. Banished Knight's Sacred Sword. Since we used... Since we, since we use the Giant Hammer as our holy weapon, we can put maybe the Ghost Flame on this one. I don't even know where to find it. What element is it? I have no friggin' clue. Let me, let me uh, find what the hell, where the hell it's supposed to be. I literally ended with my mouse hovering on top of it. So, frost. I did not really care about frost. But we can maybe just not make it cold, make it just heavy. With the cool... Ash of War, and we can electrify it, right? Let's do it right now. Why the hell not? Put that sword on, and with the added benefit of being able to put on the biggest helmet that you can imagine, because now we don't have any requirement. Give me the fat pile of poise as well. Uh, I really do like the Raksasha set, simply because it gives you extra damage. And it looks badass. Ah, that's why I've never liked this helmet. Because it looks goofy as hell when the weapon clips straight through it. So there you go. The beard of, beard of butthole. We are going right in. What's the, the most horrible thing that can be in this jail? Just more jar men. It's all that is going to be. Yeah, we need a key, right? It is locked. Let's see what you have. Here, eat my ghost plane. Oh, we need uh, extra input? We need to figure this out. Heavy. No. 
Uh, let's see. Regular attack. A regular attack will shoot it forward. A heavy attack will smash it. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, I like the dynamism. Let me be sure to get my my juice back. I cannot possibly go in there with no juice. I'm not going to use a whole charge of juice. That would be silly. This blueberry juice is super expensive. Okay, I already activated that. And we're going in here with a million runes and a death wish. There is just nothing that can possibly stop me other than repeated and humiliating death. Nothing else I'm going to enjoy wielding this banished great sword. It is a very, very good weapon. Be wary of ambush. I'm wary of nothing. They can come at me. L let them have the first lick. I don't give a crap. They have no freaking chance against me. Once again, we collect frozen maggots from the ground. That is what the Elden Lord is worthy of. Just going into disgusting Jarman jails and collecting the frozen maggots on the ground. Truly an activity fit for kings. Jail upper level key. Well, that was easy to find. There was no puzzle involved in that one. No challenge whatsoever. Uh, but we can just keep going forward. This is going to break and we're going to end up at the bottom. No crossable spot ahead. Psh. Get wrecked. Hello. Here, regular attack. Goes forward. Uh, you have managed somehow to completely avoid... What is this incredible resistance to my damage? Oof. This thing, uh, somehow, is a sponge in more than the literal sense. Absolute damage sponge. I don't appreciate that at all. Because they are already a major annoyance to face. Do you really need to make them into a... Bullet sponge? Please, I can't stand this. I need no salvation. Please stop this. You rich lamentation. Well, maybe ish you would stop shoving spikes inside of their eye sockets. That would help quite a lot toward making people not constantly scream in pain. We have to hear this, though. <laughs> oh, does it change? It's always the same, all right. <laughs> that is literally the best item in the entirety of the game. I regret not one bit coming down this way. That it is uh, amazing, amazing piece of loot. What are you doing there? Stop prostrating yourself like a lowly peasant. Get up and lift your chin. Can't stand these disgusting, craven cowards. Right, find me that door that we bypassed. Was it this way? No, it was like all the way at the top. The very first fork in the road. There you are. What will we find at the bottom of this jail? What kind of boss will we face? Will it be another dwarvish Yoda type? Will it be another garbage ass horn scent? Truly, they have not been inspired. The enemies that we find in the Ever Jails. And no, these are not Ever Jails. They are just these are just regular jails. Where they put the measly pathetic criminals and the heretics. Another ladder going down. If there's something that excites me, it's going down unknown impossible ladders. Watching buttholes, butt cheeks flex and extend. How dare you? How dare you scream your lamentation at me? Stop your lamentation! Let's put another wrinkle in the most obnoxious enemy in the entirety of the game. I mean, is he not the most obnoxious? No, he's not. They are just too many of them, and that's the problem. Too damn many of those Jarmen, their impact has completely eroded from their overuse. Ah! Hello, I'm here to visit freedom upon your spirits. I see that you're all, all so eager to see me. A little too eager. Let us uh, blow you up. That is some ass range. That is terrible, terrible range on that explosion. Uh, probably I'm always, I'm always better served by shooting it forward like so. 
Pow, 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 pow. That is some ass damage. I mean, the damage over time, but later, is pretty nice. Really not impressed with this Ash of War. It, it is super flashy, but then the damage is complete ass. Maybe because I just don't have the scaling for it. Maybe if I were focused on intelligence or something, it would have a, a much better scaling. And it's supposed to also cause frost, frost buildup, right? Okay, there's a path up, and that seems to be the way forward. So let's go see what's over here. Secret? Oh, baby! <laughs> nice. Oh, what is luck? What the hell? How dare you? Probably if I had simply read those messages, I would have. It would have been extremely obvious that there was a secret passage. But I'm always happy to find one on my own. Summon one lost in death and the spot that it is thrown. The creature spins and mows down foes in the vicinity three times before dissipating. What the? How utterly pointless. Once again, I am just flabbergasted by the existence of these consumables that nobody in their right mind would use other than for a meme run. It is so strange. I mean, I appreciate them. It's not like I'm saying, oh, take this shit out of the game. Bro, these guys have the weirdest uh, hitbox and the weirdest timing. It never looks like they're actually going to grab me before I swing, but they always do. It's not like I'm saying, take this shit out of the game, it's worthless. I'm saying, make it, maybe make it a little bit more worth going to the trouble of using. The problem with all the consumables is simply that they're a pain in the ass to use. You have to put them in a slot. I can walk back up here. It's always jars. There's always Jarman. There's always weird charred dudes. It seems like every, and you know, mounds and mounds of dead. <laughs> it's a pretty standard issue in these jails. Uh, I know for a fact that I have not traversed the entirety of this, of this jail. There's no way back up here. So let me just go back. Make sure to explore the rest of it before we uh, arrive at a spot that we cannot go back from. Like I was saying, consumables are such an interface nightmare that it's like, if you don't make it really good to use, like competitive to use, doesn't have to be broken, just saying as good as to use as your regular weapons, I'm not going to go out of my way to use all the weird, non-standard, usable items. This is just kind of silly, isn't it? I'm just going back to where I was. And we got another old yeller. Super annoying. You're dead, though. Okay. Another locked door, huh? What? Bruh, you're annoying as hell. How about I just leave you there forever? I have no interest. Bruh, what is going on here? <laughs> I feel like I narrowly, narrowly skipped this path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also the ladder going down. There's a lot of paths in this one. Hey, stop running around. Yeah, you, you certainly scream pretty hard. Too bad I am shoving my sword's blade straight into your mouths. Another place where I haven't been. There's so many nooks and... Ooh! Ah, but it's not going to be. All the perfume bottles, they're dex-based, and this one is also intelligence. It's a shame, because I like their moveset. Probably they're pretty ass, though, because they have zero poise damage. I think I came down from there, right? From that ladder, and then there is a path down here. And then there was also the other ladder. Let's take the ladder. Of course, of course, you just, like, I preemptively was attacking. It is not a jump scare when you have done it 70 times before. Let's go down the ladder over here. Might as well top off my fupu. Let's go down this way. I mean, even the incantations are kind of a pain in the ass to use. And those are fairly easily accessible. Give my kingdom. My kingdom. Oh yeah, of course, this is the component that was missing, some rats. My kingdom for being able to map the miracles 
the incantations to numbers on my keyboard. That would be so great. It would just change my playstyle. Being able to hit the number button. <laughs> hit a number button and I immediately equip the miracle I want to use. It will be glorious. No, why are you doing this? <laughs> this is not what I meant to do. All right, let me just put you down. See, see the difference in awkwardness. Like, I'm not making any kind of enlightened argument. I'm sure this is a well-known thing in all of the Souls lore. How using spells is just fundamentally less fun simply because the interface is bad. <laughs> there is no way around it. It has always been bad. The user interface in the Souls games, they have improved it, but it's still somewhat mediocre. And it's all just concessions for freaking controllers. That's always bothered me a lot. <laughs> How interfaces were at some point all adapted to being able to use with a controller, leaving us old heads with the keyboard and mouse in the dust being the, the second class citizens and the thing is the controller is all it's just a suboptimal way of being able to select things i understand that for a 3d action adventure game controller is perfectly reasonable and probably better for the purposes of having you know the thumbsticks definitely quite a bit better to a you know, instead of the eight-directional nightmare that is the the movement of butthole. Clarifying, clarifying horn charm. Is this one of the f focus, huh? Resistance to sleep and madness. Horns are sublime artifacts to horn scent. Their presence confirms the belief that they are chosen people. Wish I'd come here before freaking Midra. I would have totally equipped that. Well, there has to be a way out, right? Well, they are not going to make me go all the way back to the damn ladder, they're gonna do it. They're totally gonna do it. I have to run all the way back to the ladder. <laughs> this is why I'm never excited to climb down ladders, because it probably means I'll have to climb back up it. Okay. Not sure where we haven't gone and where we have gone. Quite certain I went up these steps. Ah, you're still there. <laughs> um, hmm, let's go down the hole. I know I just got done saying that paths of no return are like the last thing I want to do, but... Ah! We've already been here. Okay, I think it's all done. The corpse pile is next. That looks like death. <laughs> Pretty important to avoid it. I think I've exhausted every path I can go through. There's at least one door, maybe two, that require a key. I don't like I don't like those jars. Let me just quickly murder them. Okay. Does the ring reach? Let's find out. Charge it real good. Get destroyed, you filthy jars. You fill me with disgust. They are not interrupting their ritual though. Don't worry, we did it for them. They were praying to some kind of eldritch monstrosity that has nothing to do with my godhood. This jar is free ass. We'll take a beating, get destroyed immediately without suffering a single bit for it. Too easy, another hefty crackpot. Don't mind if I do, I will craft 20 explosive jars to throw out your face. More filthy little jar children. You piss me off. Okay. I will grab that, don't mind. Wow, well, how exciting. <laughs> I've been by Bozo. Strong attack. I will do land a strong attack. You know, work out though. Let's see if we can do it this time. Ooh, burst. Three ass. This is it's really for a frosting kind of uh, weapon feels silly oh I'm not even electrifying it I am such a buffoon it should be running with this on at all times 
And actually, I just now remembered. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of juice. Just now remembered the Dragon Bolt of Flori Florizax. I don't even remember whether it does damage or it was fully protection based. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> dead. But the thing is, I am incentivized to get myself a little bit lower. Let me quickly check the Dragon Bolt of Florizax. Was that just protective? Yeah, call that red line uh, caster. All forms of neg damage negation. Yeah, it is basically uh, all purpose damage negation, which is nice. Hey, all right, we can now traverse the other doors. Wonder if it's for every single one of the doors. Ah, I see. For every single one of the doors, or just the one? Will this open the one that was a, oh, just, that was a secret path? Or is there a special one for that one? Definitely, we're, I'm going to try the secret path first. And I completely forget where it was. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll find it. Not here. That is the door that I need to go through. I am looking for the door that I struck the wall for. Let me go find it. There it is, all right. Uh, just in case we dragon bolt ourselves. It really should be closer to the start because I didn't realize that it was a, a nice protection buff. It should be next to the black flame protection and stuff and things. We don't just go for the loot. We gotta look. <laughs> but there's nothing here. Lamenting visage, very, <laughs> very disturbing indeed. It's actually a... A torch? What the? It's a strength. It's a strength weapon. Stone lantern carved to resemble a lamenting human head. The eyes vacantly beaming out light. Can be raised up when equipped in the left hand, illuminating more of the surrounding area. The unusual expression somehow imparts a sense of contentment. The languid ease of one who needs not sight. Blindful happiness. Swing the head while covering the eyes, unleashing a wail of lamentation while temporarily making the user of this skill harder to see. To those who seek happiness, blending is bliss. What the freaking hell? <laughs> Let me put it on. What a, what a weird item we just found. A torch item. They're so rare. They're one of the rarest finds in the entirety. Oh, pretty damn cool. You raise it. Let me... Wield it in both hands, use the Ash of War. <coughs> I am now invisible. I mean, cool, cool, I like it. <laughs> I like that it exists. I am now forever illuminated. Ah, this is the path straight across. I saw it, I saw the... Oh, it doesn't last long, does it? I saw it across, I was like, hmm, where do I reach that loot? Well, the answer was now revealed. Alright, let's find... I think I needed to jump down to this area. We saw it. We just saw it. It's just a matter of finding it again. I think it's at the top of this, this stairs. Pretty certain. Gotta go this way, and then there is a few steps down, and there used to be a, a couple yellers. Oh yeah, open the door. Oh baby, we our path is illuminated. Thought I was playing quick for a moment. I was going to quick save. <laughs> uh, is this a battle? No. Oh, uh, well, there is a battle, but not as soon as you arrive. All right, here's me. Butthole is ready to fight with her banished sword and all kinds of bravery. Let's see. Electrify the armament. Grab myself some juice. Drink the good stuff. Golden Vow. And... Please... Dragon Ball to Flor Florisax. There you go. Really need to rearrange these damn... These damn incantations. Alright, show me. Lamenter. He's just gonna... He's just gonna cry at me. <laughs> what, a, what an incredible foe. Oh, he's becoming... Invisible! You piece of garbage! I cannot see the Lamenter. I lament my decision to... Fight them. Okay. 
many Lamenters have come. I think I just found the real one. <laughs> You're the real one! Murder! Probably we can backstab the crap out of this guy. Oh, I bet that the PvP sword. Yeah, yeah. You sure. You sure are a big pansy. This fight. You're the real one again. <laughs> uh, this guy is the absolute worst of stealth. You suck ass, sir. You're absolute trash. I'll run out of stamina. <laughs> what a piece of garbage of a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should do that again. That's a, an incredible move. Once again, the jails. The jails disappoint tremendously. <laughs> this was absolutely awful. Transform the wear into a lamenter and causes the head to swell in size. Sign me up. Sign me up right now. This is the helmet that I've been hoping for. This is everything that I was hoping to encounter. If only I could find it in my inventory. That would be grand. There should be an exclamation point next to it, right? Oh, maybe it's not a helmet. Maybe it's a consumable. I never even looked at that. Uh, it is a reusable. I can't use it though. Probably because it requires you to be naked. Don't say that. I don't try new things. Come on. What's going on in my face, though? <laughs> what is happening here? Bruh. But all has uh, bathed in the blood of her enemies. There you go. I am now a lamenter. One time I was a dragon. Today I'm a lamenter. Oh, yeah. Embrace the crying. I weep. I weep for my f fate in the DLC. Absolutely gorgeous butthole. Truly the stuff of legends. Right here. Look at her. Look at her glorious visage. Alright, well, there's the ever jail for you. Let's get out of this nonsense place. Go back out to the Cerulean Plateau. What was it? The Hidden Grave of Sharrow? Was that the name of the other place? Oh. Uh, with my beautiful lantern. And I am so elite, I'm not even going to go rest at a side of grace. I'm just going to... I already went up this way, right? I explored the edge of it. I didn't just go into the cave. I did just go into the cave. I, re I remember now. I completely ignored this entire path. That is very impressive. I should actually be wary. Do not underestimate the cap their capability to club me to death with many attacks at once. All right, looks pretty good. Now we go up the other path, if you'll remember it. I am being quite ballsy. I only have three charges of of Estus. And there may be a freaking fire golem. <laughs> Why you do this? Why? Why you do this to me? I love you, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Why you had to do me dirty? Have me face another fire golem. I'm just killing these birds because I resent their existence. One of these days, I'm actually going to land an attack against them and it will be glorious. Alright. Do I need to fight this fire golem? Come on. Can I just bypass it? I'm fighting this fire golem, aren't I? Uh, let me check the map. Yeah, it's, it's a massive place, and the fire golem is at the middle of it. Ah! Death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it hurts a lot. The moment it sees me, I'm going to flee like the craven lunatic I am. Because I am in no shape. To be fighting a fire golem. Although I did get a few charges of Estus. Land the one more hit, so I don't have to dismount. Hello. It's a piece of loot and I'm going to be a total hole for it. Even though it's so not worth it. Look at me grabbing this fireproof pickle liver. Uh, let's see if we can circumvent this golem. Leave it for later. I am hoping there will be a side of grace at the end of this giant super cliff. 
Where are you where right there, right? No, I haven't been there. How do you reach that spot? Face it, face it. I managed to miss it somehow. I have no idea how. To the point I'm going to mark it. There you go. It's very important for me to go back to that spot. I'm probably about to die in a fiery rain of magma. Oh, thank goodness this one ha looks like he's armored. This is one of the fire firebomb types, which I am far more ready to fight. I was so not wanting to tickle its shins for 10 minutes straight. It does have quite the reach. Very intimidating. So, do I even have... I can't I didn't craft because I am in battle. Do I even have fire pods? I only have one furnace, huh? Ah! ah! <laughs> well, I should have been tipped off that I was in battle and that I was about to roast. There's a steak of Marika over here. All right. Hopefully we'll be at the very top and not at the bottom of the cliff. That will be probably too much to ask for. It's at the bottom of the cliff. All right, well, butthole, put on some clothes again. This is very indecent. It truly disgusts me. Look, they may not have a whole lot of value anymore, but those runes are mine. I work for them so hard. You're not going to tell me that I cannot have them. So, I would love to craft some items. I would like to put some hefty furnace pots right down here. Please, am I? No, no. I'm in the middle of quote-unquote battle. I will roast if I continue here. That firestorm is ominous as hell. Holy crap. It's all coming down to roast me. We need to descend only over there. Uh, I need to get out of here so that I can craft some pots. Otherwise, this is just a, a nightmare situation. You know, so... Whoa! <laughs> so... Let's see if we can leave so we can come back properly equipped all right this is actually a path that we can follow all the way down hopefully all right it's all good it's all good now we can hoping no no i cannot bring up the map I'm hoping to just teleport away but uh oh this may be death oh, I lost it. all right it's all good it's all good <laughs> oh there's a, a little bit of loot though very important gold globe wart I never have enough ghost glove wart. That is death, so let's not. Cannot bring up the map just yet. So very clearly I'm still being chased by the churning furnace of hell. <sighs> Look, it's a giant foe. I need to destroy it. There is no way around it. It needs to be done. Alright, finally. I am free of this torment. Item crafting. Give me the biggest pots. The thing is, I have a pile of sleep pots crafted. Hopefully, I can craft enough fire pots. If only I could find the recipe. What is going on here? All items. That's the thing. That's the, that was the problem. All right. What you got? We can craft a lot of furnace pots. Seven of them, huh? Let's do half and half. Let's do five of those and two of these. That should be good enough. All right, let me get back to the top. Not a big deal. We just run past this uh, dude real quick. He has no way to reach me. I am swift galloping past. There's nothing you can do with your mega explosion. I'm just going to go up to the cliff so I can have an excellent vantage point to obliterate you, you piece of trash. All right, quickly, quickly. Get me some fire protection right now. Already put on the the fire plate. Whoa! Hefty pots. I want to use the furnace pots. There you are. This is annoying as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, luckily, damage is not crazy. Here, I want one of these. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mistakes were made. All right, we gotta actually be sure that 
Yeah, this is a good one. When he get destroyed, bitch. But uh, you know, there is a giant barrage of fire coming down upon my head. So did he just super jump? Yeah, he did. Come on, do another firestorm. Don't jump. Oh yeah, here's another one. Eat it. We flee. Uh, and I'm hoping that the hefty fire pods are good enough. Look, something of this gigantic volume of mass should not be able to propel itself into the air like that. This magic is just witchcraft. It is disgusting. The complete ignorance of the laws of physics. Fucking hell! <laughs> No, I have two fire pot for you! Can we get away with two? This is annoying as hell. Hey! He did. He did. Okay, I like these. These are good. They are a little puzzly, a little fun. I went a little too early, but. Okay, it's all good. Glove Ward Crystal Tear. Unfurnished Visage. What the hell is a Glove Ward Tear? And has an attack of spirits? Uh, oh, just what I wanted. Um, let's find a way into the Hippopotamus land. And that'll do, that'll do for the day. Can't be that hard, right? Probably, probably I want to go back to this side of Grace right here. And then go up this path. We'll see. Yeah, it's just a matter of never going up this path because I thought I had because I killed that flower, but I never actually went up this cliff. That is the problem. This should be the end of this entire region. Give me some juice. Give me the juice. Give me some protection. We treat hi hippopotamus seriously. They are the apex predator of Earth. Give me some four attacks. There you go. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Here, take one of these. What? Oh! Free tank. He doesn't hit, huh? It's all good. It's all good. You're gonna die. Well, man, it really does not hit hard at all. <laughs> Al, of course, does not underestimate this giant monstrosity. Because he can just com combo me to oblivion. Probably will get another stupid free fragment out of his belly. Okay, you can stop now. It's alright to stop. I know that you're frightened. I know that you've been hungry for a very long time. Everybody is hostile. Nobody gives you pets or watermelon. It's your favorite thing in the world. But you gotta calm down, but you gotta calm down. This is too much. Another skibbity tree fragment. This pleases me. And I think we are at last done with this entire region. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you know better than me, but there's just nothing else to be done. I believe we have explored. Yeah, okay. There's just no way down this path. There is no freaking way. Man, I heard the horse a lot. Uh, next up. At last. We are done with the south. We're done. I think. Like I said, I'm not entirely certain. But I think we are done with this whole area. Might as well remove this marker. There you go. Uh, all that's done. I have a marker here for what? What is this marker for, huh? Oh, for the grave. Okay, so yeah, for the duplication of souls. Uh, I am quite certain we are done. So now we get to explore one of these three paths. Just probably this leads to the end of the game. So let's Let's go up this way f next, and I am very curious about this place that with the cool garden and stuff. And it, I think it was like even a secret path. So I am super curious about this path. So we'll go up this way. It doesn't look long, unless it leads somewhere else. And then we'll get started upon this entire area, and it will be a wonderful time. Might as well teleport over there. It will remind me at the start of the next episode, which will happen right now.